This storm hasn't made landfall in the United States just yet, but the U.S. Coast Guard is already leading rescue efforts in the Bahamas. For more than a day, Hurricane Dorian has pounded the Bahamas with deadly winds and inundated neighborhoods with rising water, flipping boats in this marina, as you can see there. 10 News reporter Liz Crawford found out what Clearwater's Coast Guard members have been doing to reach those in the hardest hit areas. And they're flying in conditions that are probably some of the worst you could see. Hurricane force winds near zero visibility and it comes in waves and bands. The Clearwater Coast Guard was ready to rescue. They've been in position along Florida's east coast and in the Bahamas with helicopters prepared to bring supplies or transport people to safer areas. When we arrived there, we helped to triage some of the critically injured patients and move them to Nassau for higher level of medical care. One of the biggest challenges for rescue crews is how slow Dorian is moving. Matter of fact, some of those crews couldn't even get to the most devastated areas because the storm just sat there. Now, as I walk towards you right now, I'm walking at about four miles per hour. That is faster than the storm moved the last day over parts of the Bahamas. So that storm is moving slower than you walk and it's sitting right on top of Grand Bahama Island. On Tuesday, crews in Clearwater packed planes with supplies and emergency staff to be sent to the Bahamas. But before any help actually reaches the people in need, crews have to transfer to helicopters. And so it's very difficult to get any assets in there other than helicopters. Most of the runways in the affected area are, uh, have been inundated and awash with storm surge. So heavier aircraft, we're gonna it's gonna take some time to get those in there. Our prayers are with the people of the Bahamas and the people of the East Coast as they prepare for this storm and they try and recover. The Florida National Guard activated more than 4,000 soldiers and airmen as Hurricane Dorian continues to churn in the Atlantic.